Here in this code sample we have the class rectangle, a simple class that represents rectangles. We can instantiate this class so that each object, each and every object, will represent a specific rectangle, a specific rectangle with a specific width and height. Let's create unit tests for the methods in this class. I right click my mouse and select the create unit tests option. Here I shall select those methods I want to test. Press OK. And now I name the new project, a new test project for testing the method I selected from the class rectangle. Let's name it. The auto-generated code in the new project includes methods marked with the test method attribute. Each and every method marked with test method attribute is a method that tests a specific method in rectangle. Here we can find two methods marked with the test method attribute perimeter test and area test the perimeter test aims at testing the perimeter method let's go over the auto generated code and implement the required changes for example let's specify that we want a rectangle with the width 4 and height 5. The perimeter of a um, rectangle that its width is 4 and its uh, height is 5 should be 18. Here, the auto generated code includes an invocation for one of the static methods defined in assert. R equal simply check whether the returned value from perimeter is the expected one. The static method in conclusive is placed a call for that method is placed so that we shall put it as in a remark so that it won't be executed. If we don't place this remark it will be executed and we shall get a reminder that we didn't complete our changes for perimeter test method. So let's place the remark and move forward to the area test method. Similar idea. The expected value is 12. Here we assign the actual return value to the actual variable and compare the two. Now that we have completed Introducing the changes, we can execute these unit tests. We just need to go to the top menu, select test, select run, and here we can select running all unit tests in our solution. And a 
as you can see, the two tests passed. So we can rest assured that the methods area and perimeter were implemented correctly.